I have stumbled upon something fascinating. While I cannot determine its veracity, I assure you that it is worth your attention. Claudio Nacelli, the writer of Terra Infinita Extraterrestrial Worlds and Their Civilizations, recounts the incredible tale of Helen Morris and her father William Morris, who, aided by a giant, divulged information about numerous worlds beyond our Antarctic ice wall. According to their account, our level Earth world is part of a collective of 178 worlds that exist beneath a greater super dome, each with its own domes or biospheres. Helen and William originate from the ancestral lands, which lie approximately 8,000 kilometers south of our Antarctic ice wall. They have come here to try and educate and liberate our own humanity. Helen and William are knowledgeable about the outer lands and are familiar with the various races that inhabit them. Among them, there are two particularly hostile and anti-human groups who operate beneath the Great Dome. The first is known as the Custodians, who possess highly advanced technology and actively colonize and enslave numerous worlds. The second group is called the Anunnaki, who are warlike and belligerent and also employ advanced technology to conquer and enslave other worlds. The two factions engage in fierce competition with each other and with all the worlds that fall under the Great Dome's jurisdiction. Once either of these groups conquers a world, they erect a wall of ice around it to prevent its inhabitants from escaping. It seems like this story has escalated to an extreme level, perhaps with the intention of ridiculing flat earthers. However, let's not dismiss it just yet and take a more thorough examination of the narrative. Stay open-minded so you can still enjoy this. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Mars world which is right next to us, Sea Map, is a zoo of captured inhabitants from many worlds, including our own, where they are studied, trained, and experimented on. It is ruled by the Anunnakis who conquered the Martians long ago. Admiral Byrd was a member of the Mars world, which is why he could easily travel there through the land bridge that connects us, known as Byrd Strait. The Sully's book suggests that the Anunnaki race was responsible for the construction of the pyramids. Described as reptiloids measuring 5 meters in height, they possess a fearsome appearance and are known for their aggressive and warlike nature, displaying little compassion towards others. These technologically advanced beings, similar to the custodians, were invaded and altered by external entities beyond the Great Dome, leading to their current state. Their lands have sparse vegetation, and their waters are infested with giant serpents. They have learned to use portals to enter or invade domed worlds. Humans have an alliance with Venus against the custodians and Anunnakis. They prefer spiritual development rather than war, but can hold their own in battle if need be. They employ underground bunkers and advanced technology to evade and defeat their enemies. In fact, they even have the ability to control the climate and weather on their surface, a technique they once used to defeat the custodians. The Pleiadians are also considered allies, but their position is more neutral. They are a tall and spiritually advanced species that prefer not to engage in conflicts, although they have had frequent clashes with the Anunnakis and were able to survive the Battle of Asgard. The Orion world is dominated by the Greys, who are physically small and slim, and scientifically inclined. They were once human, but gave up their emotions for mental superiority and are dying as a result. Their abductions are a means to regain what they have lost. They are related to the Zeta Reticuli and are utilized by the Custodians to penetrate the celestial worlds. Almost destroyed by Tartary and the Giants, who harbor mutual hatred with humans, only 2% of the Greys show sympathy towards humans. The Dracos or Edamans possess both psychic and technological abilities and live for about 200 years. Their two continents are covered with beautiful vegetation and they rule over the lands of Osiris Isis. Their enemies are the Anunnakis and Greys. The Custodians are a technologically advanced race that exploits other worlds, but themselves were exploited by unknown beings outside the Great Dome, possibly AI. Their main goal is to penetrate the celestial lands where the gods reside and where humanity originated from. 
Despite their disdain for humans, they are drawn to those who are willing to trade their souls for power or fame. The last major conflict between humans giants and the custodians took place approximately 250 years ago, during the last Great Reset. The custodians are carnivorous creatures who feed on fear and suffering. They construct artificial walls of ice around worlds and control political and financial systems, resulting in the enslavement of the inhabitants. The custodians are in all likelihood what we call the Luciferians and Satanists. The land of clones, or Second Earth, was created for totally experimental purposes. The Anunnaki were the first to make use of this world, bringing in different races or species for conflict resolution. It is also used to save the lives of important leaders or celebrities. It has huge laboratories and may have been a center for hybrid creation and experimentation, both ancient and modern. As per Claudio and his source, there exist 178 circle environments, or worlds within our universe, that are encompassed by the Great Dome, excluding independent worlds without any domes. These worlds are connected through portals, which are currently the subject of intense conflict in several key countries across our known world. This is Noe's Confundan's map of the main worlds under our Great Dome. Basically, the idea is that the stars and planets we see in the sky have their terrestrial counterparts here on this great plane of creation. However, this particular view of our great plane appears somewhat random or disorderly when compared to other models such as the Hindu or Vibes of Cosmos, so I would approach it with caution. The website on the whole does offer some good information not found elsewhere, or at least a different perspective of our level Earth plane. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.